Although the glazing end trims may already be fitted on the polycarbonate glazing sheets, they will have to be removed to allow the application of a bead of silicone along the top face of the breather tape, where it will come into contact with the glazing end trim. Reattach the end trim once application is complete. Select the first roof glazing sheet and remove its protective outer film. It is recommended that only a 100mm perimeter of the inner protective film is removed at this stage of conservatory installation, as this will help protect the roof glazing sheet from any unnecessary damage. The inner protective film can be completely removed once all plaster work is complete. Start with the roof glazing sheets against the wall and to the left with the face that had the printed film facing outwards. This first sheet will be labelled as G1. Prior to fitting the roof glazing sheets, it's recommended to peel back around 50mm to 100mm of the glazing tape protective film. This enables adjustments to be made to the position of the roof glazing sheets without permanently sticking the entire roof glazing sheet to the eaves beam closure. Push the roof glazing sheet up into the universal ridge wings, then slowly allow it to slide back down away from the ridge until it rests flush with the bottom of the transom glazing bars. Allow the roof glazing sheet to gently rest onto the eaves beam closure. We recommend that you start by installing the glazing sheets on the angled sections of your conservatory. Once two adjacent glazing sheets are installed, fit the glazing bar top cap. They will permanently keep the roof glazing sheets in place and create a watertight seal.